2019 was yet another year filled with large-scale accidents and challenges. This week is a year-end special. Korea now looked into South Korea's seven biggest news stories of 2019. BTS wrapped up their first stadium tour with a bang. They met with more than 1 million fans through 20 concerts in 10 cities around the world since early May through the end of October. BTS in particular became the first Korean singer to perform and sell out two days of their shows at Wembley Stadium in June. The venue is famous for its Live Aid performances by legendary band Queen. In October, they also grabbed the title of the first foreign singer to hold a solo concert at King Fahd International Stadium in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un held their second summit talks in Hanoi, Vietnam in February, but the talks ended without an agreement. They also had a historic face-to-face -face encounter at the inner Korean border truce village of Panmunjom. However, the two sides failed to narrow differences over how much the North would dismantle its nuclear weapon programs and what concessions the United States would give in return. Pyongyang is now threatening to take a new way in protest against Washington's refusal to make a concession in their nuclear talks. Relations between South Korea and Japan dipped to the lowest point in years after Tokyo announced tighter export controls for three industrial materials vital to Seoul's semiconductor and display industries in July. The move was seen as retaliatory measures for South Korean Supreme Court rulings in late 2018 that ordered Japanese firms to pay compensation for Korean victims of forced labor during Japan's 1910-1945 rule of the Korean Peninsula. In response, South Korea decided to end a bilateral military intervention intelligence sharing pact known as the General Security of Military Information Agreement, or GISOMIA. However, Seoul eventually postponed the decision and conditionally renewed GISOMIA. The Burningson scandal escalated into a massive entertainment and sex scandal in early 2019, disgracing a number of K-pop singers, celebrities, and police officials. The nightclub named Burning Sun, affiliated with boy band Big Bang's former member Seungmi, drew an outpouring of suspicions as hotbed of drug trafficking and other illegalities. The controversy over the scandal then spiraled out of control when it was disclosed that Jung Jun Young, a singer and TV personality, secretly filmed himself having sex with women and shared the footage with his friends on mobile chat. Jung and Choi Jung Hoon, a former member of boy band FT Island, were arrested in this case. In September, police identified a 56-year-old man Lee Chun-jae as the prime suspect in the country's worst serial killings for the first time after 33 years. He, now in jail for a separate murder case, is alleged to have killed at least 5 out of 10 women in a rural village of Hwasong, south of Seoul, between 1986 and 1991. An advancement in DNA analysis technology contributed to identifying the suspect in one of the country's worst cold cases. South Korean film director Bong Joon-ho was awarded the Palme d'Or at this year's Cannes Film Festival for his seventh feature, Parasite. It was the first time that a Korean-made film won the Cannes' highest honor in the country's 100-year film history. Parasite is a story of two families, one rich, one poor, who became entangled, leading to a series of unexpected violent mishaps. Pong depicts the entrenched social class system through his signature black humor and fine-tuned suspense and horror. A sightseeing boat, the Hableani, carrying 33 South Korean tourists and two Hungarian crew members sank after colliding with a larger Swiss cruise ship Viking Sigin in the Danube River in central Budapest on May 29th. The accident left 25 Koreans dead and one unaccounted for. So these were the seven top news of the year 2019 we chose. What other news do you think should make it on the list? Please let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching Korea Now.